I'm not the first one in Vietnam or in the world to try to work with communities or to using the old methods to create something new, but I'm the first one for changing what exists there. Luxury here mean is not harmful to the environment. We're using 100% natural fabrics. Most of them we plan ourselves. We weave and natural dye by ourselves and design. So it's a complete circle that we do in-house. I spend a lot of time traveling, going to the villages to meet artisans or masters. able to understand the process, the step go into the textile making. You learn a lot more than just making textile. You learn about the place, the people there, their cultures. Vietnam is the home of 54 different ethnic minority groups. So it's a very diverse country and colorful country. Each community, they have not just one technique or one textile, they have a multiple techniques. And learn that is such sort a of gift to someone like me who only appreciate textile controls. My dad, he's a diplomat, he travels a lot, and he always encouraged her to go everywhere, explore uh, what is out there. What is special about my dad is he have a really deep appreciation for art. We dress different. I used to wear trend coat, red color, uh, which is a very unusual in the town that we wear only either Coban blue uh, or like floral, simple cotton. I didn't want to wear it because I just don't want to be different. My dad is like, it's a special. This is a real beauty. And it's really stay with me. Change here, yeah, changing the mindset and just to be able to open the mind with the new ideas, with the new approach, or combine or create completely experimental things. To be able to convince those master and artisans to change their tradition is a piece of work. You need to build up the trust. Trust here is not about money, it's about a vision that you're trying to do, the ability of using the textile into the real product. So every new collections, I try to apply uh, one or two new techniques and introduce one or two new communities. We are using many techniques from ethnic minority groups. It's quite contemporary clothing pieces. So it's very urban, fashion forward, well made and trendy as well. The part that I enjoy from my work is the collaborations, not just with the communities and artisans, but also with other artists and other creative uh, community outside of Vietnam. It was my great pleasure to be able to work directly with Tao. Her appeal to both locally and internationally is that she brings the answers to the quest for more responsible and sustainable fashion. I always prefer to present the work in the more exhibition context, to be able to tell the story behind the products. Mm -hmm. 
When I put the pen and draw the first line, the image of the people who wearing those pieces is always appear very beginning. People who put on my clothes, they not only know about the garment, but also understand the story behind the garment as well. I love design to be able to tell about uh, my own country. People outside of Vietnam can be able to look at Vietnam in that perspective. It's a privilege.